This is the future. This is where uh, some of the most exciting work will be done in the next several years, and we hope you're a part of it. Occasionally people ask about my career before becoming president at Lipscomb University, and uh, I share with them the wonderful years, 19 of which I had at Pepperdine University in California, where we established an institute in conflict management. Really it was in dispute resolution because it was focused in the legal community. And we learned a lot there. We learned uh, that the skills of negotiation and mediation and arbitration have broad applicability. Then I come to Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, what I wanted to do is bring with me uh, the very best of that institute. Uh, in fact, we bring some of the faculty from there to teach here, uh, but to bring the very best of what we learned and now to present it in a different way because our environment is different. No longer is it a law school environment, now it is a multidisciplinary university environment. When I came to Lipscomb University five years ago, frankly, I didn't want to bring with me what I'd done for 19 years at Pepperdine. But along the way, faculty here said, you got to bring it. I mean, here's an area that's so important to our world. Here's an area that is so aligned with the mission of an institution like Lipscomb. Uh, how can you not bring what you might know and allow us to share that with the broader community? That's why we have the Institute for Conflict Management. Lipscomb University is a very, very fine and, and old regional university, uh, founded 120 years ago in Nashville, Tennessee, and probably experiencing its very best days today. Uh, the university has grown almost 50% in the last five years, added 38 graduate and undergraduate programs, uh, a university that is doubling the size of its campus. Well, as a university, it's doing very well. But this program takes it even farther. Uh, what we want to do is be a national and frankly an international presence in the field of conflict management. We began, and I think very strategically, with drawing a faculty from all over the country. There are a few other places you can go where over the course of a degree program you'll have faculty who not only live in that community but who are brought in from around the country brought in because of their experience, brought in because of their expertise, brought in because they're outstanding faculty at other universities. That I believe is the foundation and becomes the hallmark for the program. So we're going to be national with this program and I think within a short period of time we'll be drawing students and faculty internationally as well. It's a bit ironic that I'm sharing these comments with you sitting in an auditorium that seats 250 people. Uh, the reality is you won't have a single class in an auditorium like this as part of this program. It uh, happened to be a good setting today, a quiet setting on our campus. Uh, but the teaching in this program will be, I, I think, fairly unusual and very inviting. Uh, we believe in experiential learning. The reality is the skills of negotiation or mediation or arbitration uh, can't be learned uh, without uh, wonderful interactive moments, uh, drawing upon your experience and drawing upon the experience of faculty. Uh, information, well, we can share a lot of that online and in a distance format, uh, but ultimately there will be very intimate moments where experiential learning becomes the key.